Hello. I'm Corvin H. Lord Hayes. And I'm going to read you a story I wrote just for you. These are my reading glasses. It has taken me years to realize my potential. Long ago, when I was young, I knew I was extraordinary. But over the years, that knowledge faded from me as I stayed around the mundane, simple people who knew not what art was. All they knew was hard work and earning their place to stand where I was given everything. The seduction was gradual. So slow I didn't even notice what they were doing to me. They were jealous of my power and wanted to drain it from me. All they wanted was for me to be like them so they wouldn't feel threatened. When I was young, the art I created baffled the simpletons. They stood and drooled at their own feet because I made them realize what behemoths they were in this world. Grand magicians of tool and anguish. But these realizations I had brought to them were short-lived, as when they looked away in horror at what they knew they had been all this time. They had forgotten what they truly were, and my art became the image of their prison. They looked upon what I was and gasped in despair, because I had given them the mirror, and they looked. When some people realize what they've become, they cannot handle the burden. But as I am a magician of shape and color and sound, I was always the creature which thrived on his own dissolution. Howling in pleasure every time I found a crack in my own armor. Another new masterpiece, I thought. My creations were grand majesties built from my anguish. And they were my saviors each time I'd fall. Cannot play pleasurably forever until you've gone too far enough times. The simpletons lulled me into a sense of pity and anger for the ones who created magnificent works of art. They actually led me to believe that art was of the depraved by forcing me to work mindless menial tasks that offered no fruit. It took many years, but my artistic energies had culminated in a much more grand way I would soon use to my advantage. I had begun to hallucinate visions of my own intuition, so mildly at first that I did not know what I was seeing and thought there was something wrong with me from the endless worry and fear the simple ones had instilled in me. None of the doctors knew what was happening to me, and they all classified me as insane or schizophrenic. Completely closed off to the realms of intuition and imagination, it was they who showed me, through their own mindless regurgitation of brainwashing code, that I was to become a savior of the mind. saw a twinkle of 
life in them. The only fun they had ever learned to have. I strived day and night and sometimes night again to complete these works and package them beautifully using my own image to represent what lied within. A large, hollow, bold, black diamond to represent a doorway they could not walk out of. And within that, an image of me, my mouth hanging open as if dead and eyes black as night. save 
were torn apart by their own anger burning through me back into them. There was nothing I could have done, and now there is no one for me to be 